Hey, hi, in this video, I will show you how we can create Azure Data Factory service using Terraform and deployment via GitHub Action. Okay, so as you see in my screen, I have my complete environment ready now. Yeah, um, so to know more about how you can set up the required environment like GitHub account, GitHub repo, GitHub Action, and GitHub secret related configurations, please do watch my previous video where I have explained everything from the scratch. Okay, and also um, one kind request please do subscribe my channel, that would really encourage me a lot. Okay. With that note, let's directly jump to this uh, this demo. Yeah. So before I I, I show how to create um, uh, the Azure Data Factory using Terraform and deployment via GitHub Actions, so let me uh, show the flow um, in a pictorial representation. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, so if you, uh, so this is the picture which I have created uh, to to give you a pictorial overview about how uh, the process follows uh, in in this demo. Yeah. So as you see in the in this picture, uh, so there are two more main, main uh, big logos. Okay, that is uh, GitHub account uh, logo and also uh, there is a Azure subscription logo. Yeah. So under these logos, I have added uh, uh, the Terraform uh, under GitHub account logo. I had a Terraform and the GitHub action. Okay. So what it what do I mean by this is that the GitHub repo and the GitHub um, GitHub repo will be GitHub repo will be hosting the Terraform file. And the GitHub action will be present in that GitHub account. Okay. By mean that I have kept it under GitHub account. Yeah. And finally, I have I have the uh, the Azure subscription logo. Under that, I have the um, the Azure Data Factory logo. Yeah. So that I, so that the Azure Data, Data Factory represents the end product in this demo, yeah? and it will be sitting under uh, the Azure subscription or Azure account. Okay. So that's what I mean by this diagram. Yeah. So below pipeline clearly explains you that. Um, uh, after it, yeah. So it, it explains in, in in this way, yeah. So uh, so what how it explains is, so I will be doing my IDE that is integrated develop from the from the IDE uh, like Visual Studio Code where I will be developing my Terraform code, yeah. Once I do my Terraform code, I will be publishing these uh, Terraform code to my upstream branch, nothing but which is sitting in the um, in the GitHub account, yeah. So once the code is pushed to the GitHub account, then automatically the required pipelines which is defined uh, to target on this branch will be kicked in, yeah. And that pipeline will create the the end end service that is um, the Azure Data Factory service. Okay, that's what the the below pipeline will explain you. Okay, okay. So with that note, so let's directly jump to the code walkthrough, and after that we will go for the demo. Yeah. So as you see here, so this is my Visual Studio Code, and um, and these are all my uh, required files uh, to create the Azure Data Factory. Yeah. As you see here. Uh, I'm currently in the in the future branch. Yeah, future branch I denote it as a, um, a development branch where I will be developing uh, my Terraform code, um, uh, the the Terraform code which will provision the Azure Data Factory service. Yeah. Um, so again, uh, after, so after that, so as you see here, this is my repo. Yeah, and and in this repo I have the um, one one folder with the name dot GitHub. Yeah, in this dot GitHub folder I have the subfolder with the name workflows. Okay. So these are this is the folder structure will be created automatically when you create um, a GitHub action in the Azure account in the in the GitHub account. Yeah. So this workflow contains two actions. One is the Terraform um, plan that YAML file. Yeah. So as you see here in in this in this definition, as you see uh, that the the Terraform apply plan is being targeted to the future branch. Okay, future branch is nothing but again it's a development branch. Yeah. So whenever I make changes to the my development branch, I push it push the same changes to the my upstream development branch or upstream future branch. Automatically, this pipeline will be kicked in. Yeah. Once this pipeline gets kicked in. Uh, the automatically it will create a Terraform plan and okay once the Terraform plan is ready a developer can look at the Terraform plan or the reviewer can look at the Terraform plan and, and identify whether the Terraform is really creating the required infrastructure or not okay once you are good with that plan then automatically you want to apply that okay nothing but you want to release that to the production yeah uh, to your environment yeah so for that one I have the for one more definition with the name uh, Terraform apply yeah so Terraform apply dot YAML is again is being targeted to the my main branch okay as you see here so this definition says like it is being targeted to run on the main branch yeah whenever somebody pushes the code um, the, the code changes to my main branch then automatically this pipeline will be kicked in yeah and the the purpose of this pipeline is to is to is to create the required infrastructure which has been defined in the Terraform yeah so that's the reason um, I have defined it on the uh, main branch, okay? And uh, make a policy in a such a way that there is no direct commit should happen to our main branch, but always uh, make sure that you always uh, make the uh, code pushes to the main branch via pull request merger, okay? Pull request being created from future branch to main branch, okay? So that is the um, the uh, the uh, assumptions in this demo, yeah. So so that's all about the uh, the all our action um, GitHub action um, Terraform files, yeah. 
and after that i have two more uh, terraform file with one with the name main.terraform file so this main.terraform file contains um, uh, two block mainly one is uh, azure rm provider block so that is the block which which gives the um, which tells about the what is the provider okay what is the actually uh, the task it will going to do okay here the provider is azure arm okay so then the task will be will be run on the azure okay so that's what it means in general yeah and i have one more block below it uh, that block we call it as a terraform backend configuration block okay so backend configuration block is meant for uh, defining your uh, defining the terraform um, backend um, um, terraform state file okay so this is the definition which is meant to store the terraform um, state file okay the terraform state file will be maintained by the uh, the terraform yeah so that's all about the main terraform file i have one more file uh, so that is the final okay this is the final file and this is the sole and and, and the uh, the main file which is responsible for providing the uh, creating the um, um uh, the required all the required services from starting to end okay so what are the services we need to create the azure data factor right so that's all definition being defined in this terraform file okay so let me quickly walk you through this um, this uh, this file from the starting yeah so here as i as i, as I was mentioning like I'm creating the Azure Data Factory service. I'm not only doing that. Okay, along with that, I'm creating the Azure uh, Data Factory um, uh, linked web services and also creating a data set of the same linked web services. Okay, that's also uh, let me walk you through that. Yeah. So let's let's start let's start from the uh, beginning of this file. So here, okay. So to create Azure Data Factory service, we need a container. What container we need? We need the Azure Resource Group. Okay. So hence for this is the block which is creates that. Yeah. Again, it's a it's a resource, okay, and it, it the resource type or the keyword for that is Azure RM underscore resource underscore group, yeah, and this is the variable uh, to store which stores the data of this is the variable, yeah. So let me select that. This is the variable uh, which stores the data of the Azure resource group, yeah. After that, and inside this flower bracket block, we are giving the required parameter. One is the name, other one is the location, yeah. As you see here, so these are the, these are the parameters we are providing to create the uh, the Azure resource group, yeah. After that. I'm directly jumping to uh, create Azure Data Factory um, service. Yeah, so this is the block which is responsible for creating the Azure Data Factory service. Okay, so this is the definition in Terraform. Yeah, again, um, um, in Terraform, uh, the Data Factory is a resource. Yeah, indeed, it's a resource. Yeah, hence both it starts with the resource, and the keyword to create the Azure Data Factory is Azure RM underscore Data Factory. Correct. Yeah, and after that. Uh, that is yeah so let me explicitly tell you the 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 keyword for azure data factories azure rm underscore data underscore factory yeah and after that this is the variable which stores the data of data factory and inside this flower bucket block we are giving the required parameters to create the azure data factory uh, one is the name uh, location and resource group okay so let me uh, tell you that the location and the resource group name are been are been referenced from the um, uh, from the uh, above resource group okay so we have just now defined the resource group um, definition right so so the same okay the so same um, um definition will same definition will be used here right yeah again after that um um after that we are creating the linked web services okay so this is the linked web service definition in terraform um, which will help us to create the azure data factory linked web services okay so as you see here again uh, adf linked web service is nothing but a resource right so so henceforth again we are defining it in an in an, in an um, um we are defining it it, it as a, a terraform resource yeah so henceforth it starts with the resource and this is the keyword at the at the resource type in the terraform to create azure data factory linked service web okay yeah and this is again as 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 it as it flows okay it's again this is a variable Okay, after that, uh, we are giving the required parameters to create that service that is the linked web services for data factory. Uh, this is the name uh, resource group. Again, the resource group name is, is being used uh, from the above. Yeah. And um, the data factory name. So again, the data factory name is referenced to perform the same. Yeah. And after that, as you see here, I am providing the other two parameters with the name authentication type and the URL. Okay, as you see here, I have made the authentication as anonymous here, but uh, for you, I would always recommend you to choose as your requirement. Then the URL, okay, since it's a linked web service, right? I'm linking it to a web service, okay? So henceforth, I have given this URL for the demo purpose, yeah? Whereas uh, you need to change these values according to your requirement, okay? So one more thing, let me tell you. So to explore from your side in regards to these services, please do explore from the Microsoft um, 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 original documents and also explore the, uh, the syntaxes of Terraform from the um, Hashikov um, or the Terraform enterprise sites, okay, yeah. And after that, finally, we are creating the data set, okay. So uh, as you know that data set, okay, so data set is nothing but the 
the type of data which data factor will be used okay yeah also uh, the type of uh, you can say that it's a set of data which data factor will use it yeah so again so this is the block which uh, which defines the uh, azure data factory data sets okay and what type of data what type of data set it is it is a http data set okay yeah um so again so this is a, again a resource okay as you see it starts with the resource henceforth it's a resource in the terraform and the keyword or the resource type to um, create azure data factory data set is azure rm underscore data underscore factory underscore data set underscore http okay so this is the keyword which is responsible for creating that service yeah and again as usual this is a resource um, variable yeah it's a variable which stores the data of this yeah and after that um, inside this flower bracket uh, block we are giving the required parameters to create this that is uh, the name um, uh, yeah as you see uh, this is the name i have given but you can choose your name as your wish and after that uh, we are referencing the further parameters from the above above uh, code itself that is the resource group name uh, data factory name yeah as you see here uh, that the data factory name is being referenced from the above itself yeah like this yeah this is the general um, this is like a, 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 a usual programmatic way of referencing the the attributes okay yeah and after that the linked service okay i'm again we are pointing the linked services to the same services which we have just created just above it yeah so this is the uh, the references being given to that and after that uh, we are giving the further required parameters one is the relative url request body and the method uh, that is a request method okay so this is an uh, since it's a demo yeah henceforth i have given a dummy data here whereas um, for your purpose uh, for your real um, uh, real production purpose please do use your data according to uh, your requirement okay okay so with that note we have completely walked through this um, this uh, code yeah code completely terraform code okay before i wind up let me tell you what is the linked in serve linked uh, services in data factory yeah linked service is nothing but a connection string okay uh, you can uh, you can think it like that it's a connection string which connects a data factory to the data set okay yeah so that's that's the reason we, we that's the reason uh, keyword being used in azure that is the linked service yeah nothing but so here with the linked services web service right hence for the name will be for, framed like this like linked web service yeah oh okay so that's a quick walk through of um, of complete uh, terraform code okay uh, with that note let's directly jump to our demo yeah so let me make some some comment uh, change here i will just add a comment so that i can show you the uh, ci cd based um, um, creation of um, azure data factory so i have made some comment okay so let me um, uh, let me stage this uh, change and commit it to my local branch yeah from there then i can i can commit to up uh, commit it to upstream yeah yeah so i'm committing it here now as you see here yeah this is my feature but nothing but my local um, feature branch as you see the sync button says that there are the um, there are the two upstream changes has to be merged okay so let me do that let me merge it okay let me merge it to my uh, my upstream feature branch okay as i explained in the starting that whenever i make a changes to my feature branch if i if, when i whenever there is a push happens to my upstream feature branch automatically a github action workflow will be kicked in okay so what is the workflow name name is uh, that is the uh, let's see okay let's uh, that is uh, terraform apply okay a uh, terraform plan okay but let's see okay let's see wh how uh, what actually the action will be get kicked in as you see here i'm currently in my uh, github account yeah this is my github account this is my repo yeah and inside that uh, so yeah this is uh, this is my repo currently in the main branch yeah whereas i have the two branches again um so uh, let's go directly to the actions okay in, in the actions now we should see the terraform plan action has to be kicked in because we have made uh, some changes to my to our 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 uh, future branch right henceforth um, uh, this pipeline has to be kicked in yeah here you here you go right it, it has been automatically invoked and it's, it's very fast okay um it has successfully um, um created the plan okay but let me quickly walk you through that the, the logs of the terraform plan as well okay so as you see here okay it's it's creating the required services again um so so as you see here so it, it's creating the azure data factory it's creating the uh, the data factory data set that is http data set uh, then it is creating the uh, the linked service web yeah, nothing but web server that is the linked service yeah linked service web then it is creating a resource group okay so in total this is the azure resource group yeah okay in in total it is creating the four resources yeah zero changes and zero destroy okay that's what the summary says okay so now um we have kicked in the uh, terraform plan stage now let's kick in the um the terraform apply stage okay how to do it is we need to create a pull request against a uh, main branch then we once we merged the uh, that pull request 
then only our uh, the terraform apply um, action will be kicked in yeah so let's see that so let me quickly uh, quickly create a, um, a pull request here okay i need to compare it against the future branch and the main branch so let me select that once i select as you see here the pull request button got activated uh, so let me create the pull request uh, once the pull request is created then only we can merge it right so henceforth i'm doing that as you see here the merge um, uh, pull request has came in now i'm confirming the merger okay merger is successful uh, let's go to the actions and see if terraform apply action has kicked in here you go the terraform apply action has now been kicked in and it is getting um, getting uh, provisioned yeah so um, so let let's quickly parallelly uh, walk the walk through and and see the logs okay what the logs tells us yeah so terraform init is getting um, getting ready now um, so after that terraform apply will be uh, kicked in yeah um, so so here the terraform apply is the stage where actually uh, the uh, the azure service gets provisioned okay yeah whereas the other stages other uh, steps above to the terraform apply are nothing but getting ready yeah getting ready kind of um, uh, default steps okay so as you see here the terraform apply uh, stage has been running now um, so here here you go first it is creating a azure resource group yeah it has successfully created the azure resource group hence for the id has been uh, put in there yeah and uh, um, yeah it looks like very fast it, it has already successfully created it so but let me quickly walk you through these logs okay um so here you go okay it has provisioned the uh, resource group yeah this is the id of the resource group yeah and this is the id of the uh, the data factory yeah okay um then um this is the linked linked services okay this is the id of the linked service which got created just now yeah and finally it is creating the data set that is the http data set yeah so this is the um, id of that yeah and finally uh, let's see what the summary says okay the, at the m at the end apply summary says that it has successfully added four resources zero changes and zero disturb okay so this is this line okay so this line tells about that yeah so good we have successfully um, um, uh, successfully ran the terraform apply stage now we should see those resources in our subscription okay so this is my um, uh, account or this is my subscription where i was uh, doing the terraform apply plan uh, steps okay so here you go this is the resource group uh, which just now got provisioned yeah and inside this resource group you should see one data factory service being sitting here um yeah uh let me show you that so it's taking uh, it's getting loaded now yeah as you see here so hey here you go our data factory service is being successfully provisioned here in in north europe location yeah so let me quickly show you that how the service looks yeah here you go it has successfully provisioned and and this is the service which we have just now created okay um so yeah so this marks the completion of uh, a plain demo of how to create azure data factory service using terraform and deployment via github action okay uh, with that note, um, uh, thanks for watching my videos and also one more time kind request, please do subscribe my channel. Um, that would really encourage me a lot. Okay. With that note, thank you. Thanks a lot.